welcome back to Force Education. This is that. Today I'm going to be talking about FCEL, Fuel Cell Energy Incorporation, as an update from a previous DD. I've had a lot of requests on on Twitter, so I'm here to bring an update. I'm going to go briefly through technical analysis and try to find any updates after thereafter. Uh, now, the biggest thing why I go through technical analysis is it gives us one thing: it gives us better ways to read the chart and uncover the psychology behind traders. Let's jump right into it. So on a one week perspective, what we get to see here is a really massive push. Everything looks bullish. ADX shows in a very strong trend. William percent R is though going on from overbought to a little bit towards neutral. MACD looks bullish. Momentum looks bullish. So we need to look a bit of a perspective onto the one day perspective. So a one day perspective here, you get to see that the moving averages are all bullish. Okay, ADX is 44 it's a very very strong trend after it crosses 50 then it becomes a bit dangerous and you can get to see a reversal there William percent r is around neutral macd starting a little bit to stabilize here and momentum is retracting of course we have a massive red candle it dropped from 1131 all the way to 767 so that is quite dangerous and you need to uh, understand a little bit towards uh sorry the volume and what's going on from there now, when we're looking into a two-hour perspective, it's within the trading action zone. You get to see the trading action zone is where positive reversal likely between the 10 SMA and the 30 EMA. You get to see right over here, it played nicely. However, look at the MACD. It's going negative on the MACD and the ADX is showing in a negative reversal is potential. Possible. So what you need to do here is to play very, very smart. You need to look into the supports and resistances and see if it breaks them or not. And thankfully, I'm going to be lying out exactly supports and resistances to look for. So let's jump right into that point as well. But before then, moving averages 391 on the top, 355 in the middle, and 320 for the moving average band for the sake of the argument. Stochastic fast and slow. They both show in that there it has a massive had a massive run, of course, as we get to see. Although we get to see um, a bunch of them are actually pointing a little bit downwards or stabilizing. Usually that is more of a warning. It says warning. In the next few days, you might see massive drop. That's all it says. Similarly, if it's actually at the bottom, somewhere around here, or here, or even here, or here, you get to see that's usually the case for you. Hey, you might have a massive potential, and every single term of them, it did. So they're usually right. Now, Fibonacci retracements, I thought about putting them on here. So what I'm going to do is for the 11.32 all the way to the one dollar down. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Maybe not retracement. Support sits out 738. Another one, 616. And then 493. Next one as a resistance is four, sorry, 911 and 1132. Now, significant supports and resistances. It's a little bit rough to see it from here. So what we're going to do is one month, two hour perspective. All right. And for a price line, what we're going to do is create uh, the supports and resistances. It needs to cross the 793 and stabilizes above there. And then from there point on, 855. From 855, well actually let me zoom in. There's no point of having it. Well, or 885. From 885, it needs to cross the 940, 940 to 981. Now the significant support that if it breaks to sell, I would say 751. Below there, the one that I wouldn't hold below is 702. Now, if you're really patient, you can go down to 668 to 657. If it starts to touch in around the 602, I would suggest cut your losses at. If you're, I mean, well, secure profits, of course, when you're going up higher. Now, it has a very strong potential to still see a massive bounce, and that's what we're counting on. That's what we always want to see. We want to see growth. We want to see potential. But you always got to understand when to secure profits and not to marry a stock. Now. With this one here, I love this company. I've done a previous DD on it. You'll find it in the description below. You'll see exactly about the fuel cells, their technologies, their products, their presentation. Everything is in there. So in case just you watched that one already and you've been following my channel, I'm going to go through everything again. I'm basically going to go through a couple of things as an update. Of course, they have services, products, uh, lines. So for instance, if you go to their products, they have uh, basically around three different sources, three different products. They're the uh, sure source 1500 for 1 1.4 megawatts of clean energy. And then we're going on towards the, uh, sorry, sure source 3000, which is 2.8 megawatts. And then goes on to the sure source 4000 for 3.7 megawatts. And it has an electrical efficiency of approximately 60% for ultra clean power. 
all right so if you would like to know more about these ones and the pdf files and literate explanation you'll find it in the description below make sure to watch that one after this one i'm gonna remind you at the end as well next uh, basically their website is amazing they don't have any events coming up latest news nothing new there uh, but they're really on to point on point you can get to see their updated presentation from september 2020 i wish there was an up even further on updated one but there isn't uh, resources and everything you need you find it here to know more about this company but just in short if you want to know a bit more about it it's basically uh, a fuel cell as, as you can get to fuel cell right their fuel cells or uh, basically generators that they're able to produce a little bit of cleaner energy high efficient high efficiency with fuel conversion efficiency unsurpassed in the industry it can capture pollutants such as uh, nitrogen oxide sulfur uh, oxide and even carbon dioxide and fuel flexibility with the ability to operate on relatively natural gas and renewable biogas so this one here as well is insane when it comes in towards a biden pump biden pump is biden takes on presidency uh as we get to today i believe or sorry yesterday the gsa has signed in the transition uh, papers we get to understand a bit more about his policies through his actual uh platform and some of them is biogas reducing on pollution and renewable energy and this fits right in so that's what i'm talking about next what we're looking at here is the current levels of institutional buyers and insider buyers insider buyers i don't see anything institutional buyers nothing new but i've been told that this one is a little bit off for fcl so from what i see nothing is new there for institutional buyers but if you happen to see any new institutional buyers mention them down in the comments below for everyone else to see the next thing is uh well i'm not sure no thank you okay uh fuel cell energy was lowered to neutral by gp morgan and that happened on the 20th and what happened market just rallied and pushed it way up so JP Morgan, you could have doubled your money, but I get to see what it is. Next on is Ed. What what do you think we should do? I'll be very frank. Uh, I myself, I, I love this one, but every now and then, I take out profits. I, I talked about it all the way back where it was I think four dollars or even two ninety one. Currently, it's trading at eight dollars. You already made more than hundred percent. And you know what? Why don't you cut up a little? You know, take some profits out. Maybe today you take it eight, eight bucks um, or tomorrow morning and then the day after you get to see oh it's starting to drop all right I'll cash out and I'm still like at a 70% gain it jumps up to 200% well my average is 150% gain amazing you know what we're eating steaks tonight so that is a bit of the perspective that I would approach this one in uh, don't get so greedy but I definitely see the really uh, a lot of potential in this one it's just about you know finding your entry what I'm saying is that Biden doesn't take office until January 20 or 21st, uh, and there's, the policies are not going to roll out right on right on now. So it's going to take some time. And between now and end of January, a lot can happen. So I want to secure profits. If it dips or something, pick them up again. You know what? If it doesn't dip, so what? You can buy them up at seven bucks, eight bucks, ten dollars later on. But at least you know that it's out of the woods and. No, no surprises are going to come in between here and there and when it starts in the, just before it runs you can buy it back in january 20th but again a lot can happen between here and there and that's my perspective on it but what do you think about your perspective as i said i'm going to remind you make sure to watch the previous video in the comments below to benefit you and i hope you're able to make a uh, educated decision and have a wonderful day